hello there welcome to this tutorial it's an statistics grouped data and we are taking you on mean mean deviation variance and standard deviation of grouped data so let's go our problem the weight in kilograms recorded by final year students are as follow calculate the mean mean deviation variance and standard deviation so to start with we are going for the mean our usual formula for mean summation of fx over summation of f and from grouped data the x is not given so we are going to create two additional columns for x and fx so we have a two additional column x and uh, fx so the x is the mid value of the class interval so for each of the class intervals we shall calculate the mid value to represent the x so we start with the first class interval 54 plus 57 divided by 2 gives 55.5 .5. 58 plus 61 divided by 2 gives 59.5 .5. 62 plus 65 divided by 2 gives 53.5 .5. 66 plus 69 divided by 2 gives 67.5 70 plus 73 divided by 2 gives 71.5 74 plus 77 divided by 2 gives 75.5 78 plus 81 divided by 2 gives 79.5 82 plus 85 divided by 2 gives 83.5 so we have gotten the mid values which represent the x column so we go ahead to calculate fx fx means frequency multiplied by the mid value which is x so 5 times 55.5 gives 277.5 7 times 59.5 gives 416.5 10 times 63.5 gives 635 12 times 67.5 gives 810 and 6 times 71.5 gives 429 and 5 times 75.5 gives 377.5 4 times 79.5 gives 318 and finally 1 times 83.5 gives 83.5 so we shall sum up the frequency and the product of the frequency and x so we shall sum up the two columns so summing up these columns we have a 50 here summing up this we have a 3347 now we substitute this summation of fx and summation of f in the mean formula so that's going to give us 3347 over 50 and that will give us 66.94 kilograms so the mean of the distribution here is 66.94 kg now we go to main deviation for our main deviation the formula is summation of absolute value of x minus x bar divided by summation of f so what we do is we get the x minus x bar x bar means the mean of the distribution we just calculated so we are going to get x minus x bar for each class interval multiplied by f sum them up 
we're interested in the positive difference so this x bar means the mean we just calculated which is 66.94 so we create two additional columns the columns for absolute value of x minus x bar and the product of that with frequency so we have additional column the first one is x minus x bar then f times x minus x bar now we come to x here this is 55.5 minus 66.94 we have already calculated our mean to be 66.94 so and we are looking for the positive difference so we have a 11.44 59.5 minus 66.94 we have a 7.44 63.5 minus 66.94 gives 3.44 67.5 minus 66.94 gives 0 0.56 71.5 minus 66.94 gives 4.56 75.5 minus 66.94 gives 8.56 79.5 minus 66.94 gives 12.56 and finally 83.5 minus 66.94 gives 16.56 so now to get this column we multiply the frequency by x minus x bar now we now have 5 times 11.44 that gives 57.20 7 times 7.44 gives 52.08 10 times 3.44 gives 34.40 12 times 0 0.56 gives 6.72 6 times 4.56 gives 27.36 5 times 8.56 gives 42.80 4 times 12.56 gives 50.24 and finally 1 times 16.56 gives 16.56 again we shall add this column to give us the summation of f into x minus x bar so summing up these values we have a uh, 287.36 so we now go ahead to substitute the values we have obtained into the mean deviation formula so that's going to give us this 287.36 divided by 50 and uh, we have our result as 5.7472 which represents the mean deviation of this distribution now we go for variance going for variance this is the formula for variance summation of f x minus x bar absolute squared what we do is we find x minus x bar square it multiply by the frequency so we already have this x minus x bar here we have this here we are going to square this and multiply by 5 square this multiply by 7 square this multiply by 10 and so on for the column so we have the column f into x minus x bar squared so now we go ahead for that now we proceed so we squared 11.44 so the result multiplied by 5 it gives 654.368 again 7.44 squared multiplied by 7 gives 387.4752 3.44 squared then multiply by 10 gives 118.336 
five six squared multiplied by multiply by twelve gives three point seven six three two four point five six squared multiply by six gives one hundred and twenty four point seven six one six eight point five six squared multiply by five gives three six six point three six eight twelve point five six squared multiply by four gives six three one point zero one four four sixteen point five six squared multiply by one will give two hundred and seventy four point two three three six so we are done with this uh column what we do now is to sum up the values to give us the summation so summing it up we have two five six zero point three two we now substitute this into this variance formula to get the variance of the distribution so we have it as two thousand five hundred and sixty point three two over fifty and uh, from there we have our answer as 51.2064 this represents the variance of this distribution then we now go ahead to calculate the standard deviation the standard deviation is immediately from the variance so standard deviation here is the square root of the variance square root of variance so finding the square root of variance we are going to find the square root of 51.2064 which gives 7.1559 so we have done justice to this problem by calculating the mean mean deviation variance and standard deviation of this distribution that is the end of the solution to this problem remember to subscribe to our youtube channel at oninabo resources thank you for watching this video goodbye